This little guy is Snailfangs. He's like any other Iron Man account on Old School RuneScape. He can't trade or get help from any other players. He stands alone. Snailfangs has one goal in life, and that's to kill every single NPC in the game. Every single one. The catch is he can only kill things in the order of their combat level. So if he comes across a level 6 bat, he must first have killed every NPC from level 1 to 5 before killing that level 6 bat. Additionally, Snailfangs is playing with Bronze Man mode rules where he can only use or buy items he first gets as a drop from an NPC. That means he can't even use a sword he found laying on the ground until he first gets it as a drop from an NPC. One day Snailfangs would take on the biggest and scariest monsters in the game, starting from the bottom. So there's a whole bunch to talk about. Let me get to a, uh, a scenic place. So I spent a bit of time uh, during my free time the past couple of days basically trying to figure out what I've missed about the account um, and see if I can potentially tie up some loose ends that I left previously. I noticed a couple of things uh, towards the end of the previous episode uh, where I got my, uh, let's see here, I got my uh, protect from missiles, protect from melee, I got my protection spells essentially. And um, I thought, you know, I could use that to access the God Wars dungeon. Well, that's actually the first thing I am going to talk about. I can't actually get access to the God Wars dungeon yet um, for one very simple reason. And that is that it requires Death Plateau, the quest, to be able to use uh, climbing boots. And those climbing boots are going to be able to let me walk to the God Wars dungeon. However... Completion of Death Plateau means that I have to get the quest done. And getting the quest done rewards me with Steel Claws. Uh, the problem with that is that Steel Claws are actually dropped by a monster. They're dropped by a level 48 soldier. So I can't actually complete this quest until I get to level 48 on the monster list. So... The impling or the imp and the goblin in God Wars Dungeon, the level seven and the level twelve uh, imp and goblin, I can't actually get to. So that is going to stay off the list or on the to-do list, but it's now locked behind completing a level forty-eight soldier for its steel cl claws. Uh, additionally, uh, I've also realized that I have a couple of things unlocked that I haven't been that I haven't done yet. Um, I'm going to test this out, but apparently you can get to Puro Puro without access to uh, Xanaris. All you have to do is wait for one of these wheat fields to have a crop circle in them, and then you can just go there as long as you have level 17 Hunter, which I do. I have uh, level 30 Hunter, so I should be able to access it. So I'm going to try to find a, uh, a crop circle that goes to Puro Puro to see if I can get there. If I can, that's huge. That means that I can get access to a couple of the lower level implings, so I can get a chisel and a ring of life. Um, the chisel, let me just double check here. Okay, yeah, so the chisel is dropped pretty commonly by baby implings, so I should be able to, if I can get into Puro Puro, I should be able to get uh, some baby implings for a chisel. The chisel is the thing holding me back from completing uh, big chompy uh, bird hunting, as well as the uh, jubbly bird part of the recipe for disaster quest. So that'll unlock a couple of things for me. Uh, as well as the ring of life comes from uh, magpie implings, so I'll have to get up to level 65 hunter. That might be a bit of a grind, but we'll see. Uh, if I can do that, uh, magpies actually unlock a whole bunch of things for uh, the account in general. All of these implings do. Uh, I remember uh, in my first episode, I talked about this and I went back and watched it again just to confirm. Uh, part of the rules for the account is I can use implings as if they are monster drops. Uh, as if they are level zero monsters. So implings might be a really good way for me to speed boost the account. It's not going to be able to get me everything, but I will be able to unlock quite a few things through implings. 
I'm, obviously, I'm not going to abuse it. I'm going to use it in a way to uh, progress the account. So, for instance, I would be going to get implings to get a chisel and to get a ring of life. Um, I could go there to uh, get upgrade weapons and armor and stuff, but it's not ultimately going to uh, propel the account that much. So I'm going to be okay with it. Uh, once I get this ring of life, however, from a magpie impling, uh, that unlocks the lost tribe and thus gets cave goblins. So I'm going to see about checking these things off the list real quick. Uh, and if I get into Puro Puro, then excellent. This is, uh, this is going to work. Uh, uh, what is this? What is this? Oh god, <laughs> this guy again. He's been doing this a lot recently. He has all these accounts that he's kind of progressed a little bit. And he's just been vibing at the GE with all of them. Just kind of standing around. Looks like someone's telling him to hang himself though. That's kind of rude. Let's see here. This, this is big. All right. <laughs> Can I catch a young impling? He's at level 32. Okay. I need to know something. Okay, so impling jars aren't dropped by anything. I can use them, uh, which means that I can use them to get more impling jars in the future. Are butterfly nets dropped by anything? They are dropped by scavenger beasts. Okay. Let me try to find a baby impling and just catch it. Because so I can just bare hand this thing. Okay, I need an impling jar. Let me see. Talk to this guy. Apparently, you can also get some starter impling jars from this guy as well. So I'm going to need to buy some impling jars. That's awesome. The very first thing I need to do, though, is I need to get a butterfly net and um, impling jars. Let's just say it's 2k each, so I just need to bring 20k. Sweet. Well, let me go off to the chambers of Zarek and get that. Apparently scavenger beasts either don't have a combat level or I mean, it, they apparently scale with the combat level of the highest person in the raid. Okay, looks like we're good there. Okay, not along the main path, it seems. Oh, shit. Um... Okay, so they only poison you for three. That's not that bad, all things considered. And it looks like they do ranged attacks. So if I just run through, protecting from range. Go south. There is the poison. Okay. I can live with this level of poison. Yes, that's fine. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Okay, so do these little guys have combat levels? Oh, they don't have combat levels. That is amazing. Let's see if I can kill it, though. I have protect from melee. Let's see how long this takes.
Okay, I don't need any of those. Actually, if I just die in here, it's fine. <laughs> okay, ooh, fishing rod. I will need that later. Good. Fishing rod I have looked up before. It is only dropped by one monster, and that monster is the scavenger beast. Lock pick. Uh, that's useful for later. <gasps> There's my butterfly net. Perfect. Okay, let me go collect that butterfly net, and then I am good to leave. Will it let me leave with the butterfly net, though, is the real question. Yep, that's fine. I'm not going to be able to complete this raid anyway. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, cool. I didn't know that butterfly nets did this. Nice. I should be able to look at that later. All right, so with that, I now have a butterfly net. Scavengers indeed could do it. Now I just need to get some impling jars and I'll be good to go. We got butterfly net, fishing rod, and some lock picks. Let me just double check the lock picks real quick. Yeah, looks like lock picks are only dropped by one monster and that is the scavenger beast. Actually, before I jump too deep into this grind, because I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to magpies. Magpies, without being barehanded, is 65 hunter. Oh boy, okay. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what I need to do to get 65 hunter. Do I need to get a bird trap from anywhere? No, but it looks like the Island of Souls has a spawn for an, a bird trap, so I will just do that. Ooh, a genie! I... ooh, I still can't train Slayer, so all of my genies are just going to continue to go into Slayer. Okay, so now that I'm here, I notice that there is also... You're an Iron Man, you can't take that. Wait, what? For real? I can take this knife. I can't take this bird snare as an Iron Man? What? That's, that can't be right. Oh my god. Okay, so apparently you can't take this bird snare that spawns on the island as an Iron Man. It just says, you're an Iron Man, so you can't take that. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess I'll go all the way to freaking Yanil or Narda to go get my freaking thing. Okay, so apparently... The house on the right side of the dock has a crate that has a bird snare. There we go. Nice. The first step is to fish some, or not fish, <laughs> to catch some of these guys. Oh, here comes the first one. Doesn't really look like there is a whole bunch of nuance to this. It's just a matter of laying them down and praying that a bird comes by. And there we go. Got one. Nice. And I unlocked this stripey feather, which I am very certain is only dropped by this thing and not actually a monster drop. Once I catch this last one, I'll be moving on to aerial fishing since I will be level 35 hunter. Of course, when I do move on to aerial fishing, before I can do that, I'm going to have to get 43 regular fishing, and that'll be the next little grind. Very nice. Okay. And with that, I can head out. So I have 35 hunter. I need to get 43 fishing. Very good. 
So I got some raw bird meat and some stripy feathers from that. Now, do I have a herring unlocked? No, I don't have herring unlocked. I have trout and salmon. I also have anchovies unlocked. Let's see what other options I have for fishing. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I think I might just have to sh fish shrimp. I'm going to see what Karambanji are like and if I can even do that. But in order to fish a raw shrimp, I need a small fishing net. And what Forgotten Souls drops small fishing nets. Crap, I can't even do that. Ooh, it's Rockwam Bungee are also needed for a small fishing net. Crap, I can't do aerial fishing. Okay. We buy 10 of these. Fuck. Red salamanders also need a small fishing net. Okay. Oh, crap. Actually, before I go too far, yeah, let me make my way into, into here to bank. I kind of need to do these potions, so I need to have these with me in case I get uh, a Dr. Jekyll event. So all of these I got from um, Winter Tot, but which ones can I unlock the clean version of? Oh, but I don't have the Herbler level for it. Okay. So I guess this is my choice. I'm going to walk around with this Guam and hopefully... Actually, can I get to high enough level to clean a Marantil? Let's see. Let's see here. Let just clean these. Okay, level four. Oh yeah, I should have plenty. No, maybe not, actually. <laughs> Alright, so Marantil requires level 5. Yeah, I know what I'm going to be dumping my skill points into. Or not my skill points, you know, the random event XP lamps that I get. I will eventually be able to train Slayer, right? But Herblore might be a bit more locked behind, so I'm going to train that as a priority. Okay, so take that piece of Guam with me, take these butterfly jars with me as well, and head out. Hey, I should be able to just walk in. Awesome. Where? Nice. Now I just release this. Oh, easy peasy. Write that down. Catch some ruby harvests while I wait for those to fill up. Easy. What you got for me, Captain Arnav? Ooh, nice! Gold ring! That is actually an unlock. And there we go. Level 37 Hunter. I can catch Prickly Kebbets. I can move on. Alright, so for Prickly Kebbets, how do I catch these things? These are the Prickly Kebbets here. Oop. And what you got for me? Triangle Sandwich. Yeah, pretty sure it doesn't lock anything. I'll still keep it though. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah, before I get into these guys, these prickly kebits, um, I noticed that uh, these chinchampas have a combat level. They don't show up on the bestiary, but uh, definitely should go kill them. So I'm going to mark them down as to kill. And, uh, yeah, I'll go and get a carnivorous one and a black one. And since we're already here, I'll just kill this great chinchampa. Yeah, they just explode. Pop. Interesting. I mean, they don't have any drops, right? Because they just explode. But that's odd that they don't show up on the bestiary. Yeah. Anyway. I had to set up a trap. Oh, okay, that's simple. I just go back and forth between these two 
traps then? Oh, I can only set up one deadfall trap at a time. Got it. What all does the Kevit spike do for me? 50 range, okay, so it's basically irrelevant. I'll still keep it, but I don't need it. Oh, nice. So that gourmet impling just unlocked cooked tuna. That's awesome. Forty hunter. Actually, with forty, I think I can set an additional trap now. Right? Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, there's the baby impling. Let me get that real quick. Are you going to be my chisel? Oh, come on. Nope, it's a hammer. I already have a hammer. Ooh, a young ampling. Give me that. Oh, I need another empty space. Come here, young ampling. Oh, that is fucking amazing. Bowstring? Oh, hell yes. Okay. That is an amazing unlock just by happenstance. <laughs> oh, okay, so I just got back on and I see a gourmet impling. Give me your goods. Ooh, a meat pie. I already got that from a random event, so. Fortunately, nothing new there. Okay, 43 Hunter. That unlocks falconry. So I've actually been doing pretty good experience-wise. I've been getting 30k an hour here. I'm going to see what falconry is like, and if that is comparable, then uh, I'll just do falconry because it's a lot less click intensive. There's a lot of clicks involved with this. I'm catching butterflies, laying three traps at once. It's uh, it's a bit much, but I'm gonna see what falconry is like and uh, potentially switch to it. Oh, <laughs> funny. So I got an item unlock by having the bird equipped with uh, falconer's gloves. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I can catch spotted kevits. Oh boy. Nice, that's a new item, spotted kebit fur. How much XP is this per drop? 104 is quite a bit. I do think I would like to clear up my inventory a bit before doing this again. All right, so back from that. Deposit my bird snares, these new spotted kebit furs, butterfly jars, meat pie, which I already have, orange feathers, tuna, bowstring, gold ring, triangle sandwich, which I already have, my axe and my thing, coins, okay. So I'm gonna keep my Guam with me in case I run into Dr. Jekyll. That will. Actually, I've already got the ability to make strength potions. But yeah, I already have the ability to make uh, strength potions. Uh, basically, I'm going to consider any potion, and uh, from also here on out, basically like any version of it. So, like if I was to get a, uh, let's say I was to get a ring of, or not ring of glory, a amulet of glory, and charge it, charging it would unlock basically all the other charged versions of it. So I wouldn't necessarily have to get a uh, a strength potion three drop in order to to use a strength potion three. It's just like I have strength potion. I can decant this as much as I want to make all the other versions of it. I feel like that's fair enough. So with that, I already have 
the strength potion unlocked, so I actually don't need to use this Guam. I do need to get up to five, um, five Herbler, and if I happen to get a random event that gets me up to five Herbler, like a, a genie or something, I will keep this Marin Till on me, and I'll be able to use it uh, with the Dr. Jekyll if I also get that. So I'll just keep this dirty Marin Till on me, just in case. All right, cleared out my inventory. We should be good to go. Oh, hello, Niles. Pair of shears. Ah, a kebab. Oh, a young impling. Hello. What you got for me? Ooh, chocolate cake. That's awesome. I'll have to look into what chocolate cake unlocks. So, like with I just... Like what I just discussed, uh, I'm going to consider chocolate cake and all of its slice amounts uh, to be unlocked with this uh, with this piece of chocolate cake. Nice. This unlocks uh, doing Gertrude's cat the quest. All right, so that's kind of cool. You keep your you keep your falcon on logout. That's really nice, actually. You don't have to keep buying it if you're still in the area. That is. Not, well, it's not incredibly useful for me right now, because I only have like 10 more levels here, but it's something to take into consideration if you plan on doing some falcon retraining. And there you go. Hunter level is now 57. I can catch dark kebets. It was looking like up here is going to be the best spot for black kebets. Nice. Got me some dark kebet fur. I'll have to keep that when I... Uh, finally wrap up with this, but it looks like it's going to take me about five hours at the the previous XP rate So yeah, it'll probably take less time than that, but That's what I'll be doing Ooh, a reason to keep this clip 20 minutes in I'll take it Genie Oh Yes, I need a herbler level. Thank you for that Ho oh. ho Level 5 Herbler. I can now make, well I can't, but I can now clean Marantil. And I actually can, because nothing drops cleaned Marantil. So, Marantil is unlocked. And now I just hope to find a Dr. Jekyll random.